do the Jews have any right for the land of Palestine? Now before we answer this question, we need to learn something. Many of the Muslims do not know this. What does Bani Israel mean? What does the children of Israel mean? Sometimes we see honored in the Quran, sometimes we see them humiliated and disgraced in the Quran. Sometimes we know that Surah Isra, the second name of it is Bani Israel. What does Israel mean? Israel means in Arabic the slave of Allah. And Israel is the second name of the Prophet of Allah, Ya'qub alayhi salam, Jacob, which is the father of Yusuf alayhi salam and the grandson of Ibrahim alayhi salam. Israel's father is Ishaq alayhi salam. So when we say children of Israel, it means the children of Jacob alayhi salam, the Prophet Jacob. And as we know, he had 12 sons. And from these 12 sons, the children of Israel were divided into two. The first type, they believed in their father. They believed in the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They believed in their forefather Ibrahim alayhi salam. They believed in Isa. And then they believed in Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because Jesus told them about the Prophet that's going to come after him, after him which is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So they are Muslims today. As for the second type, they disbelieved in their father. They disbelieved in their forefather Ibrahim alayhi salam. They killed prophets. They tried to kill Isa alayhi salam. And they disbelieved in Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam, which we see them today as the Jews. That's what children of Israel is. Just so we can learn our history. So they claim, because the Prophet Israel, the Prophet Jacob alayhi salam, he built Bayt al-Maqdis. He built the Masjid al-Aqsa that we see today. Underneath. He built it. So they claim, oh, because it's our father that built it, oh, it's our land. Which is incorrect. Why? Because the Prophet Jacob built it for those who worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For the ones who follow the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as soon as you deviate from that path, and even if you're related, related by blood, you do not have rights to this land. As Nuh alayhi salam's son wasn't a believer, so he isn't really his son as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran. So they have no rights religiously. Then they claim, a false claim as they are always liars, they claim that historically this land belongs to them. There, there was a group of Arabs that went to Palestine, they went to Palestine and then they called it Palestine, they were called al Kanaaniyun, And they entered this land 500 years before their grandfather Ibrahim was even born. 500 years. And then they entered the land after the death of the Prophet Ibrahim by 500 years. So a thousand years, Arabs entered this place called the Philistine. They came after a thousand years and they believe this is their land. Lies. They have no rights to this land. You have no rights historically. You have no rights religiously. You have no rights humanitarianly. Wallahi, you are nothing but an illegal, racist, terrorist, apartheid state. Wallahi, Allah will destroy you. Oksumu Billah, Palestine will be liberated as it was liberated before. This land does not belong to you. This land belongs to 1.8 billion Muslims. This land does not belong to Arabs or non-Arabs. It belongs to Palestinians, yes, but it also belongs to every single Muslim that believes in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's our land! And we will defend that till we die! That's our land. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the famous story of Isra'u al-Ma'raj, he came to this masjid and he prayed Imam, he prayed the leader. And behind him who? Behind him were all the prophets. Nuh alayhi salam, Ibrahim alayhi salam, Israel alayhi salam, Ishaq alayhi salam, Isa alayhi salam. And the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam, our Prophet led them all. The prophets are brothers. Their mission is one. And their God is one. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to liberate Palestine, free Palestine from those murderers, 
terrorist Zionist. 